So there guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Click to start. Let's see, we left off in our house uh, after we looted the gas station. Uh, we are exerted, but it's afternoon, so really we should head straight back there. Um, how are we doing weapon-wise? We... Uh, we have an almost broken bat. So we could really do with another one. Um, what have we got? We have an almost knackered baseball bat. That's not fantastic, is it? Uh, what have we got in here? No, nothing too good, really. Okay, well, uh, we've got a lot of hammers. So let's grab a hammer. Let's grab a hammer that's in good condition. Um, but let's equip the bat for now. We've got that equipped. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go. That's it. We're ready. That is all we need. Uh, let's head up this way. We'll run all the way back to that thing. I want to sort of get inside the lockup if we can. And, um... Ooh. I think we've been spotted immediately. Let's see if we can take her down before the bat breaks. Ooh, sounds like we might have earned some form of skill point. Okay, the bat is gone. Fair enough. Let's drop that. And we will equip a hammer. And just so I don't forget to do it later, we'll also equip the hiking bag. No one's sneaking up on us. What did we earn? We can put a point in blunt accuracy. Let's do that. That sounds good. I'm going to drop that back down. Okay, let's carry on. Let's see if we can get... Oh, God, another one. Let's see if we can get into the lockup. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to kill this guy with a hammer. It's not too bad. That wasn't terrible. A couple more dudes around here. That one definitely heard us running. Oh, God, he's got a couple of friends. Okay. <sighs> Fucking zombies. Oh god, that is a tough one. <gasps> Fuck off, son. God, he's hardcore. <gasps> Jesus. Fuck off. Oh, missed. Ooh. Oh, he's down. Okay, quick mash, mash, mash. Okay. Oh my god. Fucking hell, this game is always so goddamn intense. <laughs> uh, we want to be heading this way. Look all these dead zombies around. It's like we really did a fucking number on these guys when we came up here. Oh. Come on, keep smacking. There she goes. Okay. Okay, right. We want to go around here. And through this side. We've got another zombie here. Is she going to see us? No, I think we're okay. Oh god, there was another one as well. Is she coming for us? Yeah, she's coming straight for us. Okay, let's take her out. There we go. Got another one over there. Another one over there. And we're probably going to have to fight our way into the lockup again, because there was still quite a lot of zombies around from last time. I know we killed a hell of a lot of them. In fact, we've killed 110 zombies since we started. Which is pretty good going. I mean, that's roughly seven per episode. <laughs> is this one going to come after us? No, I think I think we're okay. Okay. Oh, God damn, that's where I want to get to. I want to see if we can open some of those because I bet they're full of goodies. Uh, but I also want to get that sledgehammer. There was a sledgehammer in there. 
I don't know if it's part of the crafting thing or whether it's um, just a weapon. Okay, this one's going to come for us. We'll take her out and then we'll kill these two guys. Oh, missed. Just keep smacking away at her. There we go. Got it trapped against the fence. Two more to get past, and then we can get back in there. Oh, there's another one as well. That's three. We're panicked because there's more than one zombie on screen. That's okay. The hammer's doing surprisingly well. It's a good job we've got a lot of these. Because we're a little bit lacking on other weaponry. We're exerted again. But for the moment, that's not a huge issue. Is this guy going to see us? Or can we get him without him noticing? He didn't notice. Sweet. Oh, 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 fuck. There's two zombies in that toilet. Oh, look. Oh, no, that was the guy in the toilet. Okay, fine. Oh, God. Right, the sledgehammer was here, was it not? There it is. Right, let's get that in our big hiking bag. Oh, we have a spiked baseball bat in the hiking bag as well. Okay, well, that's good to know. How much damage has the hammer taken? Not too much. That's fine, then. Okay. <sighs> right. Let's keep a close eye out. That other zombie's gone. I don't know where she went. But maybe we can kill this guy, sneak over this little bit of fence. Oh, missed. There we go. Oh, God, it's another one of the tough ones. It seems to be these... Well, not just the elderly male skins, because we've had some tough female zombies as well, to be fair. Uh, right. Can we actually get into any of these? Are they openable? Can we... No? It doesn't look like it. But there's a, there's a, there is a door here. And that appears to be some sort of generator. Take generator? Oh my god, that is heavy. It weighs 12. Okay. And we had to actually equip that by the looks of it, so... Oh my god, we would have to walk with that with no weapons out. Jeez. Okay. Well, at least we've learnt something. Are these rooms? Can we go in these? Oh my god, it's just full of generators. That's just got chairs in it. That's empty. Oh, hardware shelves. Gas cans. Ah. Now a gas can could be handy. Let's take the gas cam. I guess if we can somehow get one of these generators home, we can use that for power. There's, there's like three generators here. But obviously we would need gas for them as well. Bag of plaster. Remember that bucket we found? So maybe we can make some plaster after all. I don't know what we'd make out of plaster, but it's there as an option. Another gas can. Okay, we'll take it. We can't. The bag is full. Okay. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty heavy. But they've got gas in. And there's a baseball bat. We'll definitely take that as well. Um, How much are we carrying? Quite a lot. Okay. We won't take that gas can yet. We might have to do that in a few trips. Because there's another one as well. Uh, let's check this one. Uh, okay. Oh. Some sort of clothing rack. Another baseball bat. We'll take that. We'll take these because we can put nails in them. And, um... Wrong bag. We'll put nails in and make them into spiked bats. Electronic scrap might be useful. I don't know. We'll take it. Watering can, definitely useful. We'll take that. Um, but no actual way into, into those places. There's no more doors. There's nothing down the back here. 
Uh, okay. So we found some useful stuff, and now we know there's generators here. But still no way into these. I can't... I can't open them. I can't smash them. How very strange. The way around the back, maybe? No sort of doors or anything. There doesn't appear to be any way in. No, there's no way in there. Hmm, well, it's 6 pm, so I reckon we should head back home uh, as quickly as we can. Drop off what we've actually found. We got the sledgehammer, we got a gas can, um, and a few other little goodies as well, which could be useful for us. I don't want to be out here when it starts getting dark. You can hear the nighttime sound starting to play now. I'm going to have to kill this zombie on the way. God, she was vicious. Because the zombies get stronger at night. Die, die, die. Okay. We need to get home. We need to get home before it gets too dark and the zombies get really strong. We'll have a bit of a run for it. we sneak through this side? I think we can, look. Oh, yeah. This isn't our road, but we can sneak down here and kill round, like we did last time. So that should be fine. Still haven't found an axe, which is the real big thing that's holding us back. An axe and a saw. I don't really know where else we can go to find one, so we're just going to have to do some exploration. But that's going to have to wait till another day. That guy is slowing down a little bit. But it was a good adventure. We found some cool stuff. And like I said, we can probably get those generators back here at some point. And those gas cans. I mean, we don't really need them right now. Because the electricity is still on. But it's good to know that they're there. And we can go back for them whenever we want. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, let's dump some of this shit in our hardware cupboard. Um, let's put the scrap in there. Uh... The sledgehammer. Gas can. Let's put the gas can in there and the plaster powder. I want to have a look at this sledgehammer and see if there's anything on the craft menu that uses it. So I want to know what it's used for. I want to unpack these baseball bats as well so we can drive some nails into them. I mean, he's going to be carrying a lot of stuff, but it doesn't matter if we're only standing still. There we go. Put the plaster in there. And then we're going to want to pick up some nails and check out the sledgehammer. Let's unpack the sledgehammer. Can I just unpack? It weighs quite a bit. I'll give it that. It's a fucking heavy beast. And it's not... I don't think it's something we want to use as a weapon, necessarily. Uh, sledgehammer. Let's try carpentry. Uh, bucket of plaster. We can make a bucket of plaster then. So that's a thing. Okay. None of those say sledgehammer on. What about survivalist? Oh, we can make an axe. We'd need tree branches and chipped stone. And some twine. Oh my god, maybe you can't find the axe anymore. Maybe you've got to make your own. Okay, well it looks like there's nothing specific we can do there with it. Okay, let's dump it. Let's dump it in here. Uh, sledgehammer. We're also getting hungry, so we'll have a bite to eat before we go to sleep. Um, I want the crowbar. I want the hammer. We need to put some nails in the baseball bats. Uh, let's grab nails. 
Uh, we'll just grab them all. Fuck it. It's going to be easier. And then we can just dump them all back. Right, let's put spikes in these. And in this one. Okay, two spike baseball bats. Let's put the nails back. And... I guess we don't need to carry both of these around. Let's put that one away. I'm just going to need the cupboard. Put that one away. Uh, put that one in the hiking bag for now. In fact, no. Yeah, we'll get that one out and equip it in both hands. Oh, and then we've got a spike bat when we go out tomorrow. So at least we can have something to defend ourselves with. Right, that's done. Uh, we need to eat. Uh, what would we like to eat? Oops, I've zoomed out a bit. Uh, we would like... Uh, let's eat some of our watermelon slices. Let's get two of those. How does that do us? Slightly fed. Let's have another slice. Is that the last one? That's the last watermelon slice. We've got another one that we can chop up, so that's fine. That'll do us, and then we'll have a bowl of soup or stew tomorrow before we head out into the world. Um, we are a little bit drowsy. However, let's take the time and read some more cooking for beginners before we go to bed. Uh, read. Basically, the way this works is there's like a progress thing. You see the number of pages is not out of 220. Once we've read all of it, we get like a nice multiplier. But it, I think the multiplier sort of slowly builds. So if we look at our cooking skill, uh, it will start to build a multiplier for us. I don't know what Blunt Guard does, but we've almost learned, earned some stuff in that as well. We're not doing too bad on the old cooking. Carpentry is the hard one. We've only got three points. Do we have? We don't have carpentry for beginners, or do we? No, we don't. We really could do with carpentry for beginners. Fitness and strength is fine. I mean, we're not going to need to worry too much about that anyway. Right, how long have we got? We've got a bit of time. Um... Let's see. If we sleep for eight hours, we want to be going to bed about... 10 really so let's have a bit of a fast forward while we read this book there you go look you can see the boost starting to come in on the cooking skill multiplier starting to build up which is nice uh let's read till half 10 there we go and then we'll stop reading uh which i do just by walking there you go and we can put the book back and and now we have a 0.6 multiplier on cooking so the next time we cook something we get more skill points, which is nice. Let's make our way up to our bed and sleep for nine hours. Excellent. We can deal with that and we'll get up in the morning, have some food and decide where we're going. I really don't know. I mean, I sort of want to go back to Cortman Medical around that area, I think, and have a look around there where there was the... Um, like supermarket place. Uh, what have we got on us? We have two lots of chips. Do we have any sandwiches? Oop, keep zooming out. No, we don't. We could do with something just to take with us for a snack, but not something fresh if we can help it. Um, let's see. We've got two packs of chips on us. Let's take the jerky with us then. And we will have a bowl of stew for breakfast. Let's eat the bowl of stew. And dump the bowl in the cupboard. We are well fed, which is excellent. Let's head out. Let's head out into the world. Um, we'll head back up towards Cortman Medical. We're not going to get very far before I have to call the end of the episode, but we'll get up there at least. And then we'll know where we're starting next time. There is a zombie over there. And one down there. 
but we're okay. We are bored, but that won't last very long. We'll soon stop being bored once we're fighting zombies again. Did we go in this house? I think we might have done. What else can we see around? That's Cortman Medical, isn't it? Do you want to go down? Let's go down a little bit. That's the medical place. Let's continue going down and see what's down there. Is this zombie going to see us? No, she's got no clue. Is this one seeing us? No. What's down the very bottom of this road, then? Okay, nothing too interesting. Okay, fine. In that case, we'll head up. Let's head up. She's seen us. No. Has this guy seen us? Yes. See how quickly the boredom goes. <laughs> oh man, a spike baseball bat is so good. It makes life so much easier. Uh, did we look in the den? I think we did. It was full of food. Let's have a look what's up here. Are you coming for us? No. Let's see what's in this whole fenced off section, shall we? We've got a nice little path down here. And look, there's some twigs on the floor. We can't actually pick them up. What is up here then? There's a house over there. What's this? We'll go check this house out, and that's where we'll leave the end of the episode. We should be good to explore this place. We've got two pretty solid baseball bats with us. And hopefully... Whoa! <laughs> Nothing like some surprise zombies, eh? Where's the other one? Yep, there's another one over there as well. Let's shut this door. Oh, this place is infested. Go down. Okay. I think that guy's coming for us, but he's got a long walk. Right, what can we find in here? Um... Nothing too interesting there. What's, what's under this one? No, nope, nothing of any real interest. Uh, Cabbage for beginners. We will definitely take that with us. Uh, farming magazine we've already read. Some sort of shower unit. Uh, baseball bat. We shall take that. We need all the baseball bats we can get. That gives us a heavy load, but that's okay. Uh, a doll, pillow, and a radio. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, there's nothing particularly that we want there, so I'm just going to quickly walk into this room, and this is where I'll leave it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.